this is Mike from moosemits.com with a little instruction on how to use your standard moose mitts on any snowshoe, cross country ski, or hiking pole. Keep your hands nice and warm all your winter long. They work just as great as they do on your mountain bike. I like to go out with uh, lightweight gloves just to give me more flexibility and you know, taking pictures and stuff. It's a lot easier than having the big bulky gloves. Uh, even that said, the big bulky gloves have always still made my hands cold. So we started using these on our poles for hiking the last few years and they worked out really good. So really quick, I already have one installed on one side. I'll show you how to install it on the other one. On your hiking pole or ski pole, slide the skinny end over top of the bar. Or reach inside and find the elastic loop just like you would if you were putting it on a standard mountain bike handlebar. Put it right over top of the grip. You can cinch up the little elastic cinch if you need to. Straighten it all a little bit and then simply compress the skinny end and put the velcro strap around. Now there is no left or right side necessarily when you're riding when you're using them as hiking poles. I tend to like the use the I like to tend to use the eave portion though on the outside so that if I am hiking in a snowy, snow filled condition where there's lots on the branches, I can brush it off and I can move, keep moving. One of the little tricks we found recently when it gets really cold out is to take a, a chemical warmer if we're going to be out for a while and take off the sticky portion of a toe warmer, which I find works best because they, they hold in place while you're doing things. You can use a, a hand warmer as well. And what I've done is on the outside of the grip, I've just simply strapped a rubber band around this a few times. You could probably use a little Velcro strap or anything smaller might work. So when I am hiking and I grab the pole inside the moose mitt, my fingers will be on the actual warmer. Uh, and again, if it's if it's in the low digits, uh, teens or below, I'll I'll do this one. I'm going to be out for a couple hours. It, it just keeps things a little more comfortable. Another quick tip that helps us out a lot is once you've cinched this around the pole, it's, it's pretty tight. It can still move a little bit, but it, it makes a little pocket so you can store extra extra chemical warmers in there. Uh, again, with it being lower than your hand, you can put in a, a nutrition bar or a snack, something that it'll keep it warm. So while you're hiking, it'll be it'll warm up and gets easier to chew than if it was sitting in your pocket. Just like with the, when you're on your mountain bike, if you get too hot, you can cuff this open a little bit. It makes it so you can ventilate some of the heat and not over uh, overheat or sweat your hands up. So again, great extra use for your standard moose mitt. I know you may have bought them for your mountain bike, but now you can go cross country skiing, snowshoeing, or hiking in the winter uh, and still keep your hands warm uh, just like you would on your mountain bike. So thank you again. This is Mike from moosemitts.com. These can still be found on our website. Now I'm ready for a good hike. Nice winter time hike.